All right. So, hi guys. My name is Haris Salman. Uh, I am a technical recruiter at Keep Trucken. So, before we proceed forward, first of all, I would like to thank uh, PWIC for giving us this opportunity to introduce ourselves and to interact with everybody who's online here. So, I'll be taking around three to five minutes to introduce Keep Trucking to to everyone to the audience, and then I'll be open to ask, uh, answering any questions that come my way. So starting off with an introduction. So Keep Trucking was launched back in 2013 in order to improve the efficiency and safety of America's transportation industry by building reliable and intuitive technologies uh, for fleets of all sizes. We are currently focusing on the trucking industry in the US, and we've also recently moved, uh, pivoted our business functions from US to, to Canada too. We are headquartered in San Francisco, and over the past seven years, We've, uh, grown, uh, we've uh, grown rather rapidly from a team of five members to more than 1,500 employees that are located across eight global offices that we have in five different countries. Within a span of five and a half years, Keep Trucking became a unicorn, which means it's a billion dollar company. And that was done back in April 2019 when we raised more than $225 million from our investors, which include Google Ventures themselves, Index Ventures, IVP, Scale Ventures, and Renox Capital. We have a total of three co-founders who are working at different capacities at Keep Trucking. For example, Shweb is working as the CEO, Obed is uh, heading the operations team, and Ryan is looking after the software side of Keep Trucking at the moment. So what do we do? We are currently providing an end-to-end -end solution to the trucking industry in the US and also in Canada now which includes both the hardware and softwares that, that these uh, truck drivers and their businesses require in order to uh, uh, efficiently grow and perform their everyday functions. The main features that we're providing include GPS tracking, video safety, uh, also video uh, driver performance evaluation through uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning. There's electronic logging devices, there's maintenance and fuel tax reporting so that everything can be reported legally. There are integrations and we're also trying to uh, ensure that there, there are perfect vehicle diagnostics so that not only can the whole system be made efficient, but we can also reduce the costs that are incurred uh, by, by the truck drivers who are not using uh, such a system uh, in, for, for, their, uh, for, for their everyday users. So, in 2013, we only had one office in San Francisco. Within the next two years, we expanded our offices to Pakistan. We had an uh, office established in Islamabad in 2015. The same year, we uh, established another office in Buffalo, USA. In 2018, we moved on to Taiwan uh, and Nashville. And in 2019, we moved uh, forward to expanding our, our functions in Lahore and Vancouver. And in 2020, we've also expand, expanded to Bangalore in India. So of these five countries that we are currently operating from, we've got our engineering teams in India, Pakistan, Canada, and the US. So to give you a very brief introduction about what Keep Trucking is doing. So, so on your screens, you can see a heat map of the US, United States. This is where our one month, uh, this is where our trucks the trucks which have a keep trucking system implemented in them travel on average in a single month. So you can see it, it varies from the east coast to the west coast, from the northern side of US till the southern side of the US. So we have, we've tried our best to uh, enhance our product to an extent that it is an end-to-end -end, uh, product that's facilitating each and every business owner in the US so that we can uh, revolutionize this industry that was rather untapped previously. Currently, we have a clientele of more than 65,000 businesses in the US alone. We have had our uh, system implemented in more than 300,000 uh, vehicles, and we've got more than a million truck drivers who are associated with Keep Truck and Zap. That's primarily because of the fact that we have also recently re, uh, introduced an app marketplace, which is a free market through Keep Trucking's app for, for the truck drivers. So anybody who wishes to uh, book, book a truck for, for their logistical purposes, to serve their logistical purposes, they can only go, they can go to our uh, application, 
they can find it in the nearest truck they can they can uh, negotiate on the costs and that's all they have to do to get their luggage or goods transported from one area to another in us or in canada we have also geofenced more than 120000 facilities in the us and we have uh, we 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 are the market leaders for uh, for the electronic locking devices especially for those businesses which have a fleet size of less than 50 trucks so we 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 have more than 40% market share for such businesses at the moment at keep trucking we focus a lot on our missions and values and we try our best to ensure that uh, every candidate who's high, uh, shortlisted and who's hired at keep trucking uh, has at least uh, 90% of these uh, values inculcated in them which includes creating trust following through always seeking for improvement advocating for uh, the user embracing diversity which is uh, another thing fazan uh, talked about in in a session a few hours ago at uh, at pwic how diversity and inclusion itself is the main focus at keep truck and at the moment and apart from that we also believe that transparency uh, is one factor which not only uh makes uh, differentiates us from our competitors but has also helped us uh achieve our uh, end goals so before moving on to the uh, question and answer session so there are a few reasons we believe joining keep truck in may be the best decision for you uh that you may have taken uh, regarding your professional career we are not only the leader in fleet management technology but we are also making fleet management easy and we're trying to change lives and transform lives in the us at the moment taking one step at a time now that we've moved on to canada we also uh, aim to move on to different areas of the world and to integrate the global trucking industry at such an extent that we are able to uh, make their lives easier and make the lives of those who are involved in this uh, whole process easier too we are different because our products are simple they they are uh, not designed for technology experts they are designed for everyday users so anybody who has who who is uh, a little bit tech savvy should be uh, can easily uh, get on board we are also reliable we try our best to ensure that we are available 24/7 and we are also providing the best tools and technologies to our clients and to the employees who are working here with google ventures as one of our investors our platform is also built by one of the world's best engineers and that's primarily what also differentiates us from from our competitors we have also partnered with our customers uh, so so we we are not only trying to improve ourselves but we are also trying to improve our partners by, uh, by our customers by partnering with them providing them consultancy and helping them improve their everyday processes even if they're not using uh, keep trucking's application for those specific purposes we also have data driven intelligence at keep trucking so it's not just a tool it's a it's a data uh, analytics uh, software that you have that helps you automate in uh, that provides you automated insights to help you significantly improve fleet productivity and safety outcomes So that's a little bit about keep trucking and what we're doing at the moment in uh, while we're trying to improve uh, the trucking industry in the US and Canada. So uh I'll let me just open the question session. so any data so so we don't have any data analyst positions at keep truck and at the moment we had around 20 positions that were open that we uh, recently closed we also don't have any ux uh, positions at keep truck and at the moment but we're expecting a few positions to open uh, after a few months we are currently looking for android developers in both lahore and islamabad for the android developers we are, we require candidates with more than 5 years of experience in kotlin uh and java so uh anybody who's who's interested can go, go to our website and apply there so keep trucking does not help in relocation uh in case a, a candidate from another an applicant from another city gets hired at our islamabad or lahore offices however we are working from home till december 
From January 2021, we'll be moving forward with a optional work from office faci uh, uh, facility for every uh, employee. So anybody who believes they can work from home can continue working from home. Anybody who believes they're, they are better suited to working from the office can always come and join us at the office. So remote work is now uh, uh, preferred and uh, encouraged at Keep Trucking, primarily because we've noticed a higher uh, amount of uh, uh, productivity while uh, uh, the, the candidates are working from home. So during COVID-19, we unfortunately had to take some decision on the non-technical side, primarily uh, the, the sales uh, and call center team that we have. Uh, we were generous enough to ensure that they were the, the laid off employees were not only uh, given an employment opportunity at any other organization that was hiring, but were also provided with a three month severance pay so that the next three months uh, were, were not very difficult for them. Uh, we also provided them with every assistance that we could so that we could ensure that they were uh, hired at another organization. And I can assure you that uh, within the next 15 days, more than 90% of those who were uh, let go were uh, employed at other organizations through their own efforts and also the effort of the recruitment team at Keep Trucking. We don't hire full stack developers at Keep Trucking. We, we are, uh, we, because we're working on a single product, we have uh, separate front end and back end teams. Uh, and uh, at the moment, uh, we, we are not hiring for networking or cybersecurity roles either. So unfortunately, anybody with less than five years of experience in Android development may not be considered at the moment because we're looking for somebody with a mid to senior level experience or expertise for these roles. Uh, fresh graduates, for, for, for fresh graduates, we only have two roles that are open at the moment. There's a front-end engineer role and there's a back-end engineer role. For the front-end engineer, we're looking for somebody who's uh, got interest in Angular 8 and for the back-end engineer role, we're looking for somebody who's willing to work on Ruby on Rails and uh, in the meantime, simultaneously work on Golang because we're currently in the process of uh, moving, uh, of upgrading our technologies from Ruby on Rails to Golang on the back-end. And we recently upgraded from Angular 6 to Angular 8, and we may be uh, upgrading from Angular 8 to Angular 10 depend uh, in, within the next uh, quarter. We currently don't have any business analyst roles. These roles are available in our US office, primarily because the, the clientele is only based in the US. So any, any such roles are uh, based over there and not in our offices in Lahore and Islamabad. Uh, we, we do have a fresh, uh, uh, we do have front-end and back-end engineer roles open for which we are uh, open to hiring uh, fresh graduates. So anybody with zero to two years experience can be hired for these positions. For the QA engineer role, we are most, uh, at the moment, we are more inclined towards somebody with more than two years of experience. But in the future, which is in the next uh, three months, we are expecting some uh, fresh uh, roles for QA too. And yes, fresh graduates can apply for the software engineer post, which, is, uh, which has its uh, experience level between two, uh, zero and two years mentioned on the website. We recently filled a project manager role uh, at Keep Trucking. We may not be looking for another candidate for, for at least next six months. We have uh, an internship opportunity, but that's in our research and development team. So at Keep Trucking, we have a separate research and development team, which has research engineers, research scientists, and software engineers. So in case a candidate is interested in uh, going towards theoretical research, we can adjust them there. If they're interested in uh, working on machine learning, AI, and uh, data science, we've got some uh, opportunities there too. And in case a candidate wants to work as a software engineer in the research and development team, we've got those positions open too. We also have a machine learning engineer position that's open. Uh, in our research and development team. So in, in case somebody is interested, we, you can apply for that role. Okay, yeah, thank you. That will be the end of the session. Uh, thank you so much for the session, Harris.
Joe. Thank you, Dan.